Hey you guys, Lulu here. I hope you're having a shit day. Question. Have you ever loved a game which started out amazing and was game of the year, and then a bunch of monkeys ended up running the show, made it bomb harder down the toilet, harder than a post-curry night, all because of uninspired decisions? Well, my darlings, that is Overwatch 2. Wish I could be game director on that game. Today, however, we're talking about Final Fantasy. Have you ever fantasized, you see what I did there, about being in charge of a game or movie franchise and swooping in to fix it? Well, today we are. Let's fucking do this. I asked you all the other day on my social media if you were given the power to become Yoshi P. What changes or additions would you add to the game if you had the power to do it? Honestly, the responses were as unhinged as I expected coming from the Final Fantasy community. Some of you had some wild ideas like bringing the sex, lol, and oiling up Bay America. You unhinged fuckers. Mm, it's a great idea, by the way. Some of you strongly wanted a certain feature from another successful MMO. Can you guess what it is? Please don't fucking cancel me. Anyways, today I'm going to show some of the things you want, with hopes the developer senpais see this feedback and ideas. Ideally, it'd be great if one day they could implement these ideas. I mean, chat bubbles are coming, so hey, anything is possible. Give me butt sliders, please. Ah, enough stalling. My ADHD is kicking in. Let me get my visual K-wig and raid Hot Topics ring collection. We're cosplaying as Yoshi P. Oh, stick around to the end of the video. I'll share my personal thoughts on what I'd add to the game. If you want to hear what I do, it'll make you commit Sudoku. Anywho, enough fucking around. Let's start this shit. Number one, glamour. Yeah, shut the fuck up. I tried my best to sound hype okay. Let's start out strong. This feature has been brought up by you guys a lot. You have to admit, when you think about Final Fantasy XIV's glamour chest, it is a fucking mess. It's like trying to navigate through Asmongold's lair by scent alone. Every direction you're fucked. For those of you who might be new to the game, how glamouring works is, once you obtain an armor piece, you either store it in your bags, armory chest taking up space, or storing it into a glamour chest with limited storage space. From either your bags or the glamour chest, you can apply the appearance of that item to your current set. I feel it is very outdated, confusing, and clunky. Most other MMOs have some feature to save bag space with regards to glamour. Anyways, some of you had very strong opinions on this topic. Let's have a look. Dizzle says, a world of Warcraft like virtual transmog library so we don't have to physically store items. You guys really, really want Square Enix to rip off the WoW transmog system, don't you, you little shits? Just to prove it. Look how many fucking people said the same thing. Let's speed fire them. Gura, pull out the machine gun. Master bait, here we go. <laughs> So, for those of you who haven't played WoW, their glamour system is a lot more streamlined, so let me break it down. And before you WoW haters complain in the comments, shut the fuck up before I delete your favorite glamour. When you obtain an armor piece in WoW, you instantly have that appearance added to your transmogrification library. You can sell, destroy the item, and still keep the appearance for glamouring. Meaning, your bags and inventory space are freed up. You don't require a special currency like glamour prisms either. Just gold. I think glamour prisms need to be fucking gone at this point. With this system, you can also see what parts of gear collections you have acquired, meaning it encourages you to go out farming glamour with achievements attached to completing collections. Yoshi P, don't let that fucking furry game have a better glamour system than us. Why don't we have this in Final Fantasy? I think Final Fantasy 14 could have something even better if they tried, and possibly create the best glamour system in the MMO space. Did I jump scare you? Yeah, I bet I did. You coward. You make me sick. Your weakness is pathetic. Got your attention, huh? Good. I want you to hit that like and subscribe button. Remember that f***ing like button. Please, it helps. Oh, check out my Patreon too, because I need money. I'm literally fucking homeless. I swear to God, don't you dare touch that fucking dislike button, baka. Anyway, what was I saying before I casually interrupted? Oh yeah.
Number two, the fucking global cool down. Yes, I know there are hundreds of you veterans collectively farting right now as we get into this, but hold your horses and let me ask, any of you wow refugees? I can smell you from over here. Well, you've been living good over there in the world of Aseroth with that short global cooldown. At least we know how to raid without add-ons. Hey, don't hate me. I'm a WoW player too. Here in Final Fantasy, we have the power to stop time and space. Don't believe me. Check this out, motherfuckers. You get the picture. See, I told you I could move time and space. Impressed? No? Ah, oh, fuck it anyway. I'm sure many veterans know that the global cooldown is the way it is so that people have time to do things in between the main actions. I personally think the combat is a very odd topic to talk about as a casual player. I mean, I ain't qualified. I stand around taking fucking selfies all day like a narcissist. I do think the jobs have lost their unique identities over the years and are a little more homogenized. Maybe I'm just jaded, but I did like the cross abilities you could work towards getting back in the day. Ah well, perhaps in the next expansion a big shakeup is due and all classes are reworked with a tighter global cooldown. Okay, still here? This next one would kill the modding community overnight, I swear. Got your attention? Hmm. Good. Two words. Character creation. It's been 10 fucking years already. I think it's time we had an overhaul of the character creator tool. I mean, come on, you can't disagree that Final Fantasies is probably the worst out of all of the MMOs, with very little in regards to customization. Every day when in Limsa, it's basically that imposter Spider-Man meme. Seriously though, we have not had any changes or additions apart from hairstyles to the character creation since A Realm Reborn. If you count the original base game before Reborn, which had Miko Tei and a few other base races in the game, they haven't been updated in over 10 years, which is fucking abysmal. I would propose the addition of customizable makeup, eyelashes, fingernails, teeth, eye shapes, and even be able to mix horn types with different faces. Having this would allow people to represent themselves a little better and not resort to the dark side of Final Fantasy XIV, if you know what I mean. <coughs> Anyway, next. Am I right in saying you've probably tried the Crystalline Conflict PvP mode and thought, man, this would be so much better if I could play this with friends? Yeah, fucking same. Suffering together with friends is just better for some reason. Plus, you have someone to blame when shit goes wrong, am I right? Seriously though, I think they might not have implemented duo queuing because the developers probably think it would create an unfair advantage. If that is the case, I think screw that. Square Enix, please just look at every other competitive game on the market. For example, you could fill the party out with two duos and a solo and mirror that on the other team to keep things fair. Just like in how most competitive shooters do it. For certain, I would definitely spend loads of time grinding out that PvP battle pass for the exclusive goodies if I could do it together with a friend just like I do in Overwatch and Fortnite. Wait, who am I kidding? I don't have any friends, so what the fuck am I talking about? Anyway, that's your top picks. Here's what I'd most want to see. 1. Have hairstyles attached to glamour plates so you can use different hairstyles for various glamours. 2. I'm in complete agreement that the dev team needs to have their own version of a WoW transmog system. In comparison, the glamour chest with its plates are very clunky and very outdated. 3. Add a collection tab, which shows you everything you have collected, like glamours, pets, and mounts. That way, it can show things you are missing. Add on to that an achievement system, and I think we could be cooking. I want to see another calamity for the next expansion. Fuck it. 
Wipe out everything and start the game again from level 1 to level 60. Kill off the Scions too. They're fucking worn out at this point. We need new characters to befriend who aren't annoying, like Wukla Mao. Anyway, you guys had so many responses. Too much to fill in this video. Jesus. Why don't you sound off in the comments below on what you'd like to see. That's all from me. See you in the next video. Baka.